Thank you. Mm-hmm. Dr. Brown. I'm currently on a cognitive therapist retreat in Hawaii until the 29th, but I will be checking my messages and emails sporadically. If you need help, please hang up and call my office. Thank you. Allie! Oh, it's hi. Sarah from NYU. Yeah, of course. Improv class. Yeah, it's totally. Funny, <laughs> Oh, it's so great to see you. You too. We should grab drinks sometime. Yeah, for sure. I'm sorry, I have to do a thing. Oh, but, okay. okay. Um, I guess I'll catch you on Facebook. you know that he raped me when I was in college. What are you talking about? I don't even know who she is. Were you really going to pretend you didn't recognize me today? What? Wait, what's going on? Uh, come on, let's go. Wait, let's go. Your name is David Goldman. You're from Stanford. You have a brother named Rob. You went to NYU. And in October of 2010, you raped me. Dr. Brown. I'm currently on a cognitive therapist retreat in Hawaii until the 29th, but I will be checking my messages and emails sporadically. If you need help. Hey. Hey. Hey, you need help? No, I'm good. Um, I called you like four times. Did you get my messages about dinner? Oh, shit. I am. Um, my phone died. Sorry. Well, I got you pad thai. But don't worry, I explained to them that you're not like everybody else who only orders Pad Thai. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go uh, wash up. All right. I like this place. Yeah, it's good. So, how'd your interview go? Did you kill it? Um, I don't know, I didn't feel great about it. Mm. Actually, it's sort of a weird day. Really? What happened? Um, uh, I don't know, just, you know, that interview wasn't, I just didn't feel good about it. Well, I'm sure you were amazing. You haven't studied for anything that hard since you and Britt learned that dance routine from You Got Served, so. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like the guy didn't really like me. 
but did you do the dance from? <laughs> Damn it, I knew I forgot something. How was your day? Well, you know, Devin is mm -hmm. driving me insane. He keeps all of his pencils on my desk and has no regard for personal space. And, you know, that's all good, but I mean, you gonna stay up? I don't know. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just tired and really out of it. I'm coming to bed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> David. Thank you. Hi. Are you stalking me or something? No, I'm not stalking you. I just moved to this neighborhood. I'm. What is wrong with you? Are you trying to ruin my relationship? I'm not trying to ruin anything. You did rape Shh. me. What the fuck? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I said no. You were already hooking up. Okay, but you knew that I didn't. What do you want from me? Okay? You want me to admit to something that I didn't do? No, I don't want anything. I just. Jesus, I want. Howie, we were drunk and we hooked up. Oh, okay? it must be really nice God, to be it's able to It's not my that. fault that you regret having sex with me, okay? That's not on me. You know, that night happened and then you just never talked to me again. Okay. So what? Oh, I get it. This is you being mad at me for not wanting to date you afterward. No. No, that has nothing to Jesus do with this. Alex, this is. Then what's about... wrong with you? Because if it is what you're saying it is, then you would have done something about it six years ago, but you didn't. No. Instead, you're playing the victim now. And it's sad. Just admit what you did. Just grow up and move on. Stay away from us. Hi, uh, are you still working on that or? Oh great, thank you.
I'm freelancing now, which I really like, but I'm looking for a full-time position just so I can collaborate with people and work on long-term projects and just be challenged as a designer. Well, that's great, you know, and exactly what attracts you to this position? I mean, how do you see it fitting into your overarching goals in life? Um, well, I've been following the work that you do for, for a while now, and I'm, I'm really interested in this multimedia approach that you guys take to design. and. Um, I, uh, you know, with my personal goals, it's like my strengths, it's like I'm, I'm really good at uh, Illustrator and Photoshop and, and, and um, animation. So um, I think it um, really fits into to my vision for, for the work that I want to do. Um, yes. I'm, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, well, I'm really good at Illustrator. That's, and that's what you just said. Yeah. I, so I don't know. I just, I feel like I'd be a, a good fit for the for the company. Well, thank you very much for coming in. Um, why don't you leave your resume with my secretary? Or... Hello, you've reached Dr. Brown. I'm currently on a cognitive... How'd the interview go? Uh. Really? Not better than yesterday? I don't know, whatever. Okay. It's just you've been complaining about work for three months now. Sorry, Ryan, that must be so hard for you. Allie, I'm sorry, did I do something? No, you didn't do anything. I mean, I guess hearing your stories about Devin's pencils didn't really get me excited for a full-time job. Okay, Ali, I'm not the one that's been complaining about work, okay? Oh, come on, Ali. Okay, 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 I get it already. You just want me to shut up and get a job already. That's you not say what it. I meant. I just want you to be happy, Ali. Oh, well, thank you so much for your help, okay? What's going on? Talk to me. Are you... Nothing. Obviously, something's bothering you. I'm sorry, I was stupid. Let's just go to bed. Come on. Hey. Hey. You're not working at the coffee shop today? Nah, it's a waste of money to buy coffee every day. Cool. Have a good day. You too. Do you want to go somewhere else? No, it's fine. I just kind of want to get this over with. Okay. The other night was horrible. David, I mean, he won't even talk to me about it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make him look great. He says that you're crazy and that he barely knows you. And you believe him? Yes, I trust him. I'm going to marry him. I guess I just really needed to hear the story. I just need to, I just need to know or else I'd always be wondering about it. Um, <laughs> are you sure? Yeah. Okay, you can stop me at any point. Okay. Um, I hooked up with David a few weeks my freshman year. It was nothing serious, you know. He was a senior. 
This one night we went to his friend Sam's party. He was in the Psych 101 class I was taking and I thought he was so cute. I felt lucky, you know. It was fun, we were drinking whiskey and dancing and he took me to the bathroom to make out. God, I was so naive. Like, I thought this guy just wanted to make out with me in a bathroom, but no. Um, obviously not, he wanted to have sex. And I was a virgin. You know, I went with him, so for a long time I felt like, well, I put myself in that position. Um, what could I have expected? And I didn't want it to happen that way, you know, drunk in a bathroom at a party. So I told him, you know, I said we could do it later, but he wasn't listening to me. I tried to leave and he grabbed my arm. He pulled me into this corner. He locked the door. He turned on the faucet. He pushed me against the sink. Sometimes I think like, I could have moved right then, but I froze completely, I was paralyzed. I knew he has made up his mind, he's gonna have sex with me. You know, rape wasn't even in my vocabulary as a thing that could happen to me. But that fear, the, the feeling of knowing it was about to happen is still what I remember the most. Um, he turned me around and oh, it hurt so much that I just kept staring at this handprint on the mirror, wondering whose was it, you know? Was it mine? Was it someone else's? How long had it been there? You know, anything to distract me from what was happening. And finally, I, you know, I could talk again and I started screaming and he... I don't know. I mean, David doesn't even think he did anything wrong. It just, it doesn't sound like something that David would do. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, even I couldn't call it a rape until many therapists later. I really didn't want to hurt you. I just saw him and I got so mad again. Um, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I, no, I, I, I should have known. I, uh, there was a time, and this was like a really long time ago, um, where I just didn't feel him listening to me. And like we were dating, like we were having like sex all the time. But he just like didn't stop. And I thought he really just wanted me. So um, we kept on dating and it's not like, it's not like your situation. I'm sorry that happened to you. It's not a thing. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing. It was something. Hey. Hey. Uh, you still want to try that new Italian place tonight? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Uh, you ready to leave in like 10? Um, I actually want to talk to you about something first, if that's okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, it's sort of a long story. Okay, so I should set yes. this down? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. Um, but when I was in college, this sort of like bad thing happened to me. Um, I know it sounds random. Um, but yeah, uh, I was assaulted. 
I'm just saying bad thing because it sounds better. I'm sorry, it's not funny. Um, I just don't know how to talk about it still. <sighs> okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. But it's just that a couple days ago, I saw the guy for the first time. glad you told me, but it makes me so angry that you had to deal with that. And I never want you to feel like you have to deal with it alone. You're really strong. I don't feel strong. You are. So, we still on for that 7.30 reservation at the attendant place? <laughs> yeah, we're just like... 37 minutes late. I'm gonna order Thai. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Well, the chicken one. Obvi. <laughs> Basic. <laughs> Pad Thai eating. <laughs> what would it feel like to be? Are you excited about your interview today? Yeah. I'm gonna get this one. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Will you set me up? So, that means you're gonna do the dance for them, right? Oh yeah. Ready? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh, you go that way. Uh-huh. Right. Boom. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be great. Do the dance, seriously. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. 